Good morning, everybody. Here we go again. Nice, beautiful morning. Got a 32 by 32 house foundation we're gonna do using the conveyor truck. The access is kind of sketchy, so made our lives a little easier we're using the conveyor today. We're actually up on another lake. We do a lot of these. This is the guy's lot. Got a really nice lot. Any any kind of lot on the lake's actually pretty nice. Sun's coming up it's early in the morning, 6:30. Got a couple guys helping us from Deco Creek Supply today. They came out to visit with us from Ohio. We buy a lot of decorative concrete products from them. They sell all kinds of concrete stuff. So if if there's anything you need with concrete, check out DecoCreekSupply.com. And you know, go, you can go to the website. You can order right online. They ship everything right to you. Really great place to buy concrete stuff, especially decorative stuff. So we're gonna get the floor poured. We got nine and a half on the conveyor. He's gonna do most of it, and then we got whatever balance we'll need on that second truck that's sitting up there. got fiber mesh in it. It's uh, got mid-range water reducer in it, so we can get the slump up to around six and a half, seven this morning. Pretty much just a flat floor. It's gonna just be a, you know, he's got a house here, he's got a garage going on back there. They're gonna end up doing, they're putting footings in here, they're gonna put another frost wall for like a 12 by 32 patio area. So I, you know, when everything's all said and done, it's going to be a pretty good sized place. I got to read all of you. You're going to get your fucking gear rate. Wire that's not rusty? No. Me either. Must be brand new.
enough for four and a half. I did. I'd go one more row right up with him if you could. Hopefully he's not quite out yet. Also, <laughs> Gonna be close. Huh? I ordered enough for four and a half. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be damn close. Maybe you might be our balance truck. Yeah. So, I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, I'll get you out of here. Get him in. I told him to say that. <laughs> All right, looks like it's going to be close on concrete. It's a little bit thicker than what I had planned on. That, that nine and a half yards I thought would do a lot more than that. But we got four and a half. We got four and a half on him. I did order two extra yards. A good thing because that's, I mean, that's at least going to make it close, but I don't know if four and a half is going to do it. Hopefully, we're a little bit high up in there. Yeah. I'm gonna put a bag in you right here. That's 
save a little bit for a balance. I don't know if you're gonna finish it or not. Come be close. Right. It's a little thicker than it's supposed to be. Yeah. I ordered two extra yards, like I said. every day boom 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 if we can like on this one we'll leave luke here to finish by himself me and darren would go for something else usually but we do try if we do something decorative we try to finish that up we don't try to prolong the process <laughs> get out of there get paid right like i rain coming tomorrow night is that going to screw up my sealer for tomorrow or not i don't know it depends what time it comes yeah i mean I think I'm going to get it okay. The nice thing about D1, we push a little bit that way. Probably gonna lift that up in a second. Be careful. I gotta go. I gotta go this way, Tyler. Yeah. Lock it. Now just turn this one the other way, Paul. Get it. Here we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Unlock it. Yeah. Never seen that before. It's okay. Looks pretty good right there. Maybe up a whisker. He's never seen that before. All right. <laughs>
take that off. Try to get one with it off for a sec. Eric, coming your way, bud. Unlock it. Down. Okay, Paul, run a little bit. Watch Tyler behind you, Eric. Good, Paul. Back your way down. Come on, just flip this one over. Lock it. Down, please. Yeah, a little bit right there. Got to empty you out, see if you're going to finish or not. He had four and a half. Not that high, right? No, we're not. We're gonna kick street it and see if we made up anything. Sometimes you get a little bit. Yeah, but it ain't gonna be enough. You have to order a yard. Try me again. No, we're about we're about four by four short. So I'm gonna have to get a yard. Yeah, I'll just get a yard. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, so ordered two yards extra to do this at four inches. Two yards extra. Two yards will do 160 square feet. So 16 by 10. And we still ran short. <laughs> so, that, I mean, we just can't keep coming back, checking grades, checking grades, checking grades on every single job. These guys, when they tell us it's going to be four inches, it should, they should do it four inches. If it's going to be more, then they should just call us and say, hey, you know, I think it's an extra half inch. I mean, uh, a quarter of an inch over this area right here is just a little over a yard. So, and I, I figured enough for four and a half inches. <clears throat> so obviously it's closer to five. But we'll deal with it. Luckily, they had a truck right at the plant, so they'll or they'll fill it with a yard and just send it right out. Oop. So here's, here's, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I don't know how much you've done behind a screed like this. Not like this. So uh -oh. see see how we, can you see how he's a little bit low already? Yeah. So as as they're screeding, you know. I'm I'm in the same rhythm as the as the screed, okay. Because I don't want to splash it up against it. Yeah. But I'm also I'm also pushing like this to keep filling behind him. So I'm. See how okay. fast I'm working behind him, yeah, and yeah. that and then that keeps this high. And if I do get low, I get low back here, not right up next to the screed. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, and the worst place to be low for these guys is right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah, because the hammies, the hammies get tired yeah. fast, and the less kicking they have to do, the better. So I'm always going like that. Yeah. Okay. I'd be filling, filling, filling. If they're pulling down an inch, that's perfect. Okay. okay. They'd rather pull down high than get it low. That's a good roll right there for them. Yeah. Yeah, that's different to get in that rhythm with them. Okay. Yeah, just like... I mean, it makes sense though. Now pull a little bit of that high down, Eric. Yeah, that's a little too high for him. There you go. That's good right there.
We don't we don't typically run short either. Usually usually we know the grades pretty good. So the other day when I came up and I shot those red lines, he hadn't he didn't have the styrofoam to wire the radiant in. But it looked like when he put it in, I'd still be four to four and a half. So that's kind of what I've been on. And I, as you can see, I was wrong. I should have got another half a yard. I ordered two yards extra for this. Thinking that's going to be plenty. Yeah. It happens, especially with these, these uh, you know, show before based on someone else's prep work. Yeah. It's happened to everyone at least. We don't times. like to show up and shoot our grades until everything's completely done and ready right. for us. You know, that's something. Luckily, we're only 25 minutes from the plant. You know, if we're an hour away, this shit's going to be hard before he gets yeah. here. Just batch them out a little bit Well, no. He'll batch them out the same, about a four. Yeah, I think we can turn it right now, turn it. Come down a little bit, we'll scrape up a little of this and... Keep going this way or turn it? I think turn it and just come down a little bit. I'll get a little of this over there. I mean, like, just for like the increase. I mean, I'm used to, you know, pull, pull, stand up, pick up the board, pull, pull, yeah, stand up, reset. But I mean, that's way faster. You gotta have a good partner though, that way for sure. You gotta be, you gotta be like twins. Like when, on big stuff, you know, when I used to do the commercial stuff, two guys would grab the screed like that. You'd screed the whole floor. You wouldn't do anything else. You wouldn't grab that. You wouldn't grab bofo. You wouldn't grab the laser stick. Because everybody would see be so far ahead of you, you wouldn't have time to stop. Right. It was just strike your pads, pull the bay down. Move to the next. Strike your pad, pull the bay down. Strike your pad, pull the bay down. It was just constant. If you didn't, you know, have to wait for trucks. So, which made it kind of easy because you were doing one thing all day instead yeah. of both loads hot on the back. Yeah. You know, back then we didn't have knuckleheads. Right. So you was bending oh, over, yeah, you was standing up, yeah. bending over, and then my back hurt so bad doing that, but I could screed 15,000 square feet yeah. in four hours and not be sore. Yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> With good rakers. <laughs> but most of the guys were good back then, and you know, when I first started, most of them knew what they were doing. This is a bummer. I hate running out. Yeah, it happens, right? You know, we take what? 30, 40 minutes poor flow like this, bang, you're in, you leave a guy, you're on to the next job. Yeah, you know, it definitely just, messes with the rest of your day. Yeah, sure. and it messes with the concrete plant too, you know. Yep. Luckily, he had one there today, but normally this guy might be the return guy. Yep, yep. Basically. Uh, probably just easy to throw a couple on there then. Now, just getting a tough angle. The more you come back, the more the shoot goes that way. Right. All right, our balance load showed up. Took him about 20 or 30 minutes to get here. Uh, he's got a yard on. Uh, I think we're going to have plenty. That looks like about a half a yard hole to me. <laughs> so we'll get this done here in a minute, and then we can move on with the rest of our day, leave a guy here to finish. Try to make it a point next year, all three of us go to that deck open. Yeah, all right, so that's it, 32 by 32. Ended up taking 15 and a half yards. 
That's it for the pour. We'll leave Luke here to finish. Power trial it, saw it, probably put, I don't know, he probably put a couple joints each way in this thing. And then the homeowner's kind of wanting the concrete floor to be the finished floor, so he may polish it later on. But that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. All right, so this is a sneak look inside the concrete underground where I have multiple trainings, multiple different categories on how I teach you how to pour and finish concrete, how to repair concrete, how to do epoxy coatings. There's just multiple different trainings where I go in depth and teach you how to do all this stuff.